Many years ago, I became interested in parachute jumping. I found a club and started training. We trained how to fly and jump like a badminton shuttle, belly first, hands and legs behind. We practiced opening the parachute, and if it didn't open well, how to use the reserve parachute. Then the big day came for my first jump. My wife had her doubts, but I decided to be honest with my calling. I have practiced. I will be okay. On a peaceful Sunday morning, I arrived at the airfield. I saw already a couple of skydivers coming down. I followed one parachute gliding down nicely and softly. But then, you'll never believe what happened next. All of a sudden, the jumper disappeared in the woods. The whole parachute just vanished. My heart skipped a beat. I was petrified. I couldn't believe what I saw. We certainly hadn't practiced that. In that very moment, fear came into my mind for the first time. I was thinking, what am I doing? Am I crazy? Should I just turn around and never come back? Well, I forced myself to go on, and we started to prepare ourselves. We folded our parachutes and then went up in the air on the plane. We looked at each other, but didn't talk much. Suddenly, the big door was slammed open, and I peeked down to the empty space terrified. One by one, the jumpers before me just disappeared into the mouth of the beast. Then it was my turn. My stomach heaved, and for the final time, I looked down to see the tiny creatures on the ground. Then I jumped. I don't remember much what happened after that, but I was counting 101, 102, 103, 104. But then the miracle happened. The parachute opened and pulled me up swiftly. What a relief. I survived. I grabbed the strings and a whole new world opened up. It became amazingly quiet. Just a small breeze in my ears. I was flying high above the city, free as a bird. What a relaxing feeling. Then the ground came closer, and I steered to the field. Just before touchdown, I pulled the strings and landed safely on the grass, not in the woods. I felt alive. But we're not here to listen to me talking about skydiving. We are here to focus on a more important thing, following our heart in our career decisions. We all live now in the turmoil of a global pandemic. However, there is another dangerous virus that affects our life in our work and in our studies. This virus is burnout. Latest research suggests that almost 30% of employees in Finland are suffering from burnout to some extent. And the proportion of university students exhausted has doubled during the pandemic. Fortunately, there's a vaccine available against this burnout virus. The treatment begins by listening to our heart. Listening to our heart makes it possible to find our passion. And finding our passion gives us the chance to find the job of our dreams. The work that will bring us joy and meaning to our life. In the past, I worked in a company as a project manager. Sales grew and we got a lot of orders. I ended up having more than 100 ongoing customer projects at the same time. 
more than 100. But the worst thing was summer holidays, when just two of us had to take care of all the projects in the department. It was like being a firefighter, putting out the worst fires all day long. During the most hectic days, we hardly had time to eat. I got back home late in the evening, and then in the middle of the night, I woke up and remembered all the important things I had forgotten to do. We both felt that we couldn't handle this for long. After that summer, we were totally exhausted. My, my fellow project manager resigned. He started a completely new career in massaging people. The latest news I heard of him, he was arranging laughter therapy sessions. What a change! I didn't go that far, but I managed to, to change my work to marketing, which probably saved me. Burnout has some common symptoms, which I, unfortunately, also noticed. A high level of stress and the feeling that you cannot influence your work enough is a bad combination. You begin to feel exhausted and just not recover. You lose interest in obtaining good results and your professional pride decreases. You start forgetting things. You may become easily angry and little by little you may become cynical towards your work and finally towards everything. Burnout is just around the corner. However, if you follow your heart when deciding on your career, you may find your passion. You may find the work that is a perfect match for you. Well, what does it mean to listen to your heart? What a cliché! But I have an idea what it really means. There are four key elements in following your heart and finding your passion. They build on top of each other. The first one is curiosity for new things. The same way a young child naturally has. The famous film director Francis Coppola just recently visited Finland. His granddaughter had read an article about an ice hotel and she wanted to experience it. So they had an adventure in Lapland. He also met some film students here in Helsinki. But in an interview he said something important. He said he is not here to teach the students. He said the film industry is still a young form of art and we are all students. I think he, an 81-year-old young man, showed an important attitude to every one of us. Instead of being arrogant and superior, be curious and explore the world together with other people. The second one is self-awareness. How well do you know what you really like? You need to study yourself. You need to look what you feel inside. The big questions are, what do I enjoy? Doing what makes time fly? What makes me excited? The more you try different things, the wider is your understanding of what it is that you truly like. By looking inside, you have a chance to find your passion. Something that is in your heart, not in your head. The third one is to be honest with yourself and disregard what other people think you should do. Do not look at external happiness, wealth, reputation, popularity, trends. Do not look at what other people are doing or pursuing. Do not look at what other people are expecting from you, 
especially your parents. This is Zach. He has been interested in computer games since he was a child. At nine, he studied computer programming and decided to work with computer games. His parents supported him, but many naysayers told him that working with computer games is not a real job. But Zach ignored them. He remained true to his passion, and now he works as a chief technical officer in a company making computer games. And he loves it. Like Zach, look for internal motivation. In a way, become a child again and study your inner wirings with honesty. Being true to yourself will set you free. The final feature that you need is courage. You need to leave the safety of the airplane cabin and jump into the emptiness, into the unknown. Otherwise, the change is not possible. It may seem scary and risky, but I can assure you it's worth it. An exciting new world appears to you. Your parachute will carry you. But if things go south, make sure you have your reserve parachute. You usually have the chance to go back to the old, or then use plan B, something else you have reserved for this. At least in the back of your head you may think, if this just doesn't work out, I can always go back. You probably won't need it, but at this point it will ease your mind. When you find your passion, work will not be exhausting. Rather, it will empower you. You are putting all your energy into your work and you will get tired. However, afterwards you feel satisfied that you have done your job well and served other people. With the feeling of being in control of your work, you will enjoy it and stay away from burnout. It becomes quiet, and you will fly like an eagle. Well, after you have jumped, you still have to steer. You may become so driven in your new, exciting job that it will take over. Easily done. The woods down there are closing in on you without you noticing it. You need to read the signs. When you start to sleep poorly, start to feel exhausted, it's time to slow down, time to pull the strings. You need to limit your work, reduce the amount to such that you can carry with joy. Sometimes it happens that somebody else is offering you the jump. Someone asks you to join a new team or take over a new position. You accept it and find your passion. This is Helena. As a young girl, she was nervous of making public presentations and thought she would never use those skills. Helena became a medical doctor, but then one university professor called her and asked her to join their team. Apparently, the professor had noticed her potential. Helena accepted it, and now she is an award-winning teacher of medical students. She found her passion. She is now doing even those things she feared the most when she was young, giving presentations in conferences all over the world. And she is good at it. I know since we have been married now for more than 30 years. Well, if your new passion starts to become boring again, you have two choices. You will either start to look for a new, new area of passion and prepare yourself for a new jump. 
Since you survived the first one, the second one will be easier. This time you may enjoy the views in your landing. The other choice is to tune your work or your studies. Maybe change the perspective or add a new refreshing element. During my time in marketing, I found my interest in teaching. I made my jump and became a teacher. Since the first love, I have added new things and new courses to my teaching every now and then. This spices up my work and keeps me interested. Learning new things together with the students. Finally, the ultimate jackpot in using our heart is to find purpose and meaning in our life. We begin to feel important and meaningful in our work. In many cases, this happens in helping other people to achieve their goals. We will start to see the bigger picture in our life and that gives us solid internal motivation. A hint of curiosity, a handful of self-awareness, plenty of honesty topped with courage may change your life as it changed mine. If you feel your work or the area you are studying is not a match with you, not giving you satisfaction, if burnout is just around the corner, I ask you to listen to your heart, prepare your parachute and make that jump. Thank you.